I'm doing the warping program. Welcome to another day on the farm. Of course, like any other day, I'm gonna show you what I did today. So check it out. This is the carrot bed. As you can see, there's plenty of carrots in there. Of course, you can't see them above ground because the carrots grow underneath. But these are the tops. As you can see, and there's a bunch of them all over the place. All down here. So today what I did is de-weeded this entire section. As you can see, it's mostly clear and there's nothing in there but the carrots. That used to look like this, which is covered in a bunch of different weeds and plants, etc, etc. Except for this one. This one's good. This one can stay. Oh, and these right here. Those are radishes see it right there radish so that's basically what I did today I did a lot of weeding took all that stuff out took me a good amount of time to do it definitely have to have a lot of patience because the uh, the carrots come out really easy you can easily pull out a carrot by accident while you're pulling out the weeds as simple as going like this they don't stay in very much if they're not fully grown all the way same thing goes with onions and I wanted to show you my fava beans last week you gotta you got to see uh, how well all my plants were doing check it out look how big these damn fava beans are getting look at that It's getting big. So basically the farm owners have been away for some time. So I haven't exactly been learning everything that they have to teach. I've been doing a lot of repetitive stuff or um, been doing a few new things here and there by one of the uh, oldest woofers who's here who's running things at the moment. But it's basically just a lot of repetitive stuff. Which is okay because they're coming back in uh, next week. So that's no big deal. Check this out. This is like a log seat. I don't know if you can see it. So tight. Anyways. So once they come back, I should have a lot more to uh, go through and do and whatnot and learn. And um, I'm getting a moped at the end of the week. So I should be doing a lot more cruising around, a lot more extra stuff, you know, we'll see how it goes. Might help me get a job, you know. We'll see, who knows, I don't know. I'm just going with it, so I should get that by the end of this week. Maybe, uh, maybe Friday, Saturday, you know, so that should be pretty good. And I'm going to find a little way to strap my, uh, my recorder to the front of the, uh, the moped so I can get a lot of adventures in. <laughs> that should be pretty interesting. So that's basically what I've been doing. All this work and trying to get me a moped. And that's why I haven't really been going out doing a lot of adventures and whatnot because I've already figured out that, as you saw in my last video, taking a bike is definitely not worth it at all. <laughs> not worth it at all. So um, I'm definitely going to try and get that moped. Uh, they're doing pretty good deals here and actually the place that I'm getting it from just has shipment run out so I guess a lot of people like these uh, mopeds and they go quickly 
so I'm definitely gonna make sure to grab me one of those when I get a chance. Other than that, things have been going really good here. Um, still loving being here and I'm enjoying my time. So for all the people who are actually watching my vids and enjoying um, the experiences that I'm going through, check these guys out. They think it's feeding time. They always run up to the gate when it's feeding time. Anyways, to all those people, you know, who are thinking, oh yeah, I can learn from your vids, you know, and the stuff that you're teaching us about growing organically and whatnot, you know. Totally, you can do that, you know. You can totally do that if you want to. You know, and saying you can't, but there is a catch though. Although I'm providing all this information and showing you what woofing is like and all that stuff, you know, there's nothing like first-hand experience. If you don't come and do the woofing experience, it's, it's not the same. You can learn whatever you want in videos and books and have people teach it to you, you know, and for the growing purposes. But it's not the same as, as going to a totally different place and with totally different people, you know, and learning how to grow food. And, and just the whole experience in general, you know. And you definitely can't miss out on it, you know. There's something in this experience that's very special. There's something that's here that's not really anything that you can gain from anybody else. You kind of have to be here to know what I'm talking about and go through these things to know what I'm talking about, you know. And uh, once you do that and you go on the experiences, you know, it's, definitely one hell of a ride. <laughs> Chicken! Chicken! These guys are hungry.